This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Hey, EMM. We are excited to announce that we are now accepting applications for our second annual Diversity and Inclusion Award. The award is eligible to fourth-year med students identifying as underrepresented in medicine and are applying to EM residencies. We are extending three $200 awards to selected individuals following a blinded review of all applications. Applications will be accepted through the end of November with winners being announced mid-December. Check out our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.org slash EDI dash award for all the details and to access the free application. Or you can click on the link in our show notes. Thank you. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. So this is going to be a medical minute on a uh, specific kind of pediatric fracture called a torus or buckle fracture. So we see a lot of kids come in after they fall and uh, a lot of times they'll fall on an outstretched hand, have a little bit of wrist pain. And you know, a common pediatric fracture pattern is called a torus or buckle fracture. And young bones are still not kind of super formed. There's some compliance still. And sometimes one edge of the bone will kind of buckle or bend a little bit and it doesn't go all the way through. It's not out of place. So it's a pretty minor fracture, but it can hurt and, you know, something we see a lot. So there's a question as the best way to manage these buckle fractures. And kind of over the last, you know, 10, 15 years, there's been a couple of studies and some reviews that suggested that they don't need to be in, you know, prolonged immobilization. They could probably get a Velcro splint and just kind of start early mobilization. Maybe they don't need orthopedic surgery follow-up. Maybe they can just help with their primary care physician. So it doesn't need a ton of kind of rigorous follow-up or rigorous treatment, but it's still questionable as to what the best thing is. So there was a recent study that was a good randomized trial in pediatric buckle fractures that compared immobilization, which was usually a removable Velcro splint, compared to, they actually tried to do an arm with no treatment at all, but when they kind of were getting ready to do the study, they had a focus group of parents, and parents said they wouldn't feel comfortable with the idea of doing nothing. So what they did for that side of the trial was giving people a gauze wrap to kind of wrap the arm with, which is basically like doing very little or nothing. And what they looked at was, you know, pain. And then they looked at functional outcomes. They looked at satisfaction. They looked at, you know, whether the fractures became more deformed over time. And they found that there was no difference in any of the outcomes. So, you know, this trial and kind of previous trials suggest that for buckle fractures, you know, there's very little that actually needs to get done. These fractures do fine, whether they are, you know, immobilized or not. So, you know, a lot of parents still might want a Velcro wrist splint, but if the kid looks totally fine, this trial suggests that you could give them a little ACE wrap or gauze wrap to them to use it as needed. We don't need to put these in splints. They don't have to have a splint that has to stay dry. They don't have to see an orthopedic surgeon. So, you know, if you see someone who's getting discharged with a fracture but not getting a whole lot done, you know, that's probably why. It's very good treatment. It's probably less to hassle, to worry about. Um, you know, regular analgesics, Tylenol, ibuprofen. These kids do fine. They have great outcomes. So interesting trial. Any questions or comments? Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division, and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.